75% of all the buildings in New York City are heated with steam radiators. And those systems have been operation for 100 years in many cases. It's a really robust technology, but it's inefficient. In New York City alone, about $2 billion worth of gas is wasted. And it's not just the waste of fuel and money and, and the creation of carbon, but the fuel you consume to heat your building is burned and it goes right into your lungs. Our mission is to decarbonize the world's legacy buildings. Growing up, my family gave us a lot of space to explore. I always gravitated towards building models that moved, so RC cars, etc., taking apart other things that consumed electricity and trying to understand how they worked. I realized when I was very young that I wanted to be an engineer. I was three years into my PhD. My twin brother got a position in a Broadway show in New York. You never know how long those shows last, so he slept on my floor for three months, and he complained bitterly and nonstop about the temperature. It was miserable. That barrage of complaints, that's what really drove me to figure out something to stop him from complaining, and that was the first cozy. A lot of the bigger, older cities that we have, steam heating is prevalent, but it's inefficient. Radiator Labs directly addresses that inefficiency. The way that the cozy works is it's an insulating radiator enclosure. So it sits on top of the radiator, and it lets the air around the radiator heat up very quickly. It turns out that if you let the air around a radiator heat up to steam temperature, the amount of steam that condenses in that radiator plummets. By virtue of thermodynamics, we're able to stop steam from condensing in rooms that doesn't need the heat, and that forces the steam to condense preferentially in rooms that do. And so we're able to push heat from overheated rooms to cooler rooms. When the room needs heat, the fan turns on and cycles that heat out into the room and brings colder, fresh air into the enclosure to allow that steam to continue to condense. So the result is no longer an apartment that goes hot, cold, hot, cold. It's one set to point temperature, and we're buffering the delivery of that heat through what is now a thermal battery. So this is a significant impact on comfort, and that lowers your overall energy consumption of the building. The installation of the Cozy is really easy to do. All of our covers are custom made. And then we come in and we literally drop it on top of the radiator, attach a sensor, and plug it in. And that's it. My hope with Radiator Labs is that we're able to provide a cost-effective electrification path for every building. Hybrid electrification is pairing a low-cost commodity heat pump with the cozy efficiency products. We can run those inexpensive heat pumps when it's warm enough outside for them to operate at high efficiency. And then when it gets really cold, we turn that system off and turn the steam back on. So we're able to get about 80% of the greenhouse gas emissions benefits of a full electrification solution at about 20% of the cost. So in terms of carbon impacts, our efficiency product saves about a quarter ton of CO2 per year per cozy. And the hybrid electrification deployment reduces about half a ton of carbon dioxide per year per cozy. So if we're gonna address carbon intensive heating inefficiencies, you have to be able to address the built environment, existing buildings, a very hard problem to solve. We have solved it. My name is Marshall Cox, and I'm the founder of Radiator Labs.